in this exercise we are going to learn how to update the surfaces according to master sections so as you can see there is a gap between the section and the master surface sorry there is a gap between master section and the surface so we have to update these surfaces as per master section so master sections are basically used for references we cannot use directly sections to create a surface but we can measure these master sections we can study the master sections then we can create surfaces so first we have to measure these parameters so in this exercise there are three master sections this is first this is second and this is third so we will update these surfaces one by one so first and let's remove this edge fillet now we are going to separate these two surfaces Now let's remove this edge fillet. Now extrapolate this surface so that we can get one edge. Now extrapolate this surface. So we got one edge. Now you can hide this surface. Now we have to create one surface at an angle of 155 degree. So we are going to use sweep command with reference to surface so we have selected once guide curve and reference surface and the angle is 155 degree let's increase the length now you can check the now check it by taking section cut so here we have to apply an edge fillet of 25 mm so here in this area the surface quality is not good so before applying the edge fillet Before applying the edge fillet, we have to remove these edge fillets. Let's remove these edge fillets also. Now we can extrapolate this. On the other side also we will extrapolate it. Now we have to extrapolate this middle surface. So before extrapolating it we have to separate it from the joint. Now we can extrapolate. Now we can trim the surfaces that we don't want.
let's trim this so we got two edges so we can give edge fillet at these edges as per the master section so before that first we have to remove this edge fillet which is at the base First we have to separate these surfaces, so let's separate these surfaces. Now we can remove this edge fillet. Now we can extrapolate these surfaces. Now let's trim the surfaces that we don't want. Now we can give edge fillet as per the master section and it is 8 mm. Let's apply it on the other side also. You can see these two edges are not matching to each other. So first we have to remove these corners and extrapolate it. Okay, now we can use a isoparametric curve here at this point so that we can split these surfaces. Now let's split it. Now here we can use blend command. Similarly, we will do the same procedure at this side also.
so let's check isoparametric curve at this point so that we can split these surfaces now we can use blend command here hmm. and there is a gap between these two surfaces but after using blend command we will trim it or split it so first we have to use blend After that we will split the lower portion of the other side. Let's join all the surfaces and now split this surface using this. So we have trimmed. Now you can give edge fillet as per the master section. So it is 9 mm. Now you can check by taking section cut so our surfaces are matching to the master section let's extrapolate these surfaces so that we can get a better quality of surface Let's take a parallel curve on this surface. Before that we have to measure the distance at these two points. So it is 3.896. Let's copy, copy it and paste it here. Now we can split this surface. Similarly, we will do it here also. Now let's join all the surfaces. You can check the boundary. There is no boundary. There is no gap between any surfaces. So, in this way, we have done our task.